Welcome to Zion National Park. Known as Mukuntuweep, or Strait Canyon, by the Southern Paiute, the rock walls of the canyon rise over 2,000 feet above the canyon floor. Here you can gaze up at sheer cliffs in shades of cream, pink, and red, set against a brilliant blue sky. Although the park is located in the desert, there are also many opportunities for viewing wildlife. The towering monoliths of Zion are made of ancient sand dunes, cemented together into sandstone. Tiny amounts of minerals, especially iron, present in between the grains, give the rock its many colors. The thick layers of sandstone and other types of rock have been dissected by the erosive power of water. Today, the Virgin River continues to cut down through these rock layers. There are several wheelchair accessible opportunities to recreate in Zion and to take in its natural and cultural heritage. Zion is one of the most visited national parks in the country, with over 4 million visitors each year. Plan for delays at the entrance gate and have your Federal Access Pass and photo ID ready. The Federal Access Pass is available for free to U.S. citizens or permanent residents with permanent disabilities. Head to the Visitor Center for information on accessible features, current conditions, and to catch the shuttle into the park. Rangers at the Zion Canyon Visitor Center are available to help you plan your trip and can provide you with a variety of maps and publications. Here you can also request permits to drive into the canyon if you are unable to take the shuttle. Did you forget something for your trip? The Zion Forever store is also located inside the Visitor Center. Outside, you can find accessible restrooms, water bottle filling stations, and outdoor exhibits on Zion's natural and cultural history. The outdoor shade structures are a good place to escape the midday heat. From early March through November, access into Zion Canyon is by shuttle bus only. All shuttle buses are wheelchair accessible. Use of your personal vehicle is restricted to individuals requiring additional vehicle-supported medical devices or when the shuttle bus cannot accommodate you. The shuttle provides access to all visitor facilities within the canyon. Ranger-led shuttle tours are available daily in the summer. You must reserve your spot in person at the visitor center up to three days in advance. The Perus Trail is a one and a half mile long paved trail that descends 50 feet from Canyon Junction to the Visitor Center with minimal grade change. Set in the heart of Zion Canyon, this trail provides spectacular views of Zion's cliffs and desert habitat. Much of the trail is exposed to direct sunlight, so avoid the Perus Trail during the heat of the day during warmer months. Perus translates to rushing waters in the Southern Paiute language and the trail closely follows the Virgin River. The Perus winds through the widest part of Zion Canyon, opening the sky for stargazing. The Riverside Walk is one mile long, paved, and is accessible for the first four tenths of a mile. The shuttle stop at the trailhead features an accessible restroom, shade structure, and drinking water. Here, the canyon becomes much narrower, with sheer cliffs close in on either side. While the trail is paved, sand may be present, making the surface slippery. There is an accessible resting and turnaround area four-tenths of a mile in. Beyond this point, short sections of the trail exceed a 20% slope and may become sandier. For an accessible scenic viewpoint, get off the shuttle at Big Bend. Here you will find views of some of the most famous features in Zion, including Angel's Landing and the Great White Throne. You may even see California condors flying overhead. The Zion Lodge is the only dining option inside the park, with an accessible restaurant and cafe featuring indoor and outdoor seating. There are also accessible restrooms and water filling stations. Accessible lodging is available in the hotel or historic cabins. Make reservations far in advance. 
More dining and lodging options are available outside of the park in the nearby town of Springdale. If you have a strong sense of balance and some upper leg muscle control, you can hit the trails on horseback. This is a unique way to beat the crowds and experience a more intimate Zion. Human habitation in the area now known as Zion extends for over 10,000 years, and this area is a part of the Southern Paiute homelands. Permanent exhibits in the museum display the rich human history of Zion National Park, showcasing the Southern Paiute culture, pioneer settlement, and Zion's growth as a national park. Here you can also catch the free park film, attend a ranger talk, or just enjoy the view of the temples and towers of the Virgin. The Zion Nature Center is open during the summer season and has a variety of exhibits, books, and games for children to explore. Summer youth programs designed for families and children are also available. Ask a ranger for a self-guided Junior Ranger activity booklet. Completion of the booklet will earn you a Zion Junior Ranger badge. Watchman Campground has accessible sites and multiple other flat sites with easy access to accessible restrooms. Paved paths lead to the visitor center and shuttle stop. A 12-mile scenic highway connects the south and east entrances to Zion. This rugged route features a historic tunnel through the base of the Navajo sandstone, completed in 1930. From the main canyon, this road travels up steep switchbacks to the east side of the park, where you will find unique slick rock features and accessible viewpoints, including checkerboard mesa. You may even spot herds of bighorn sheep. Located in the northwest corner of the park, Kolob Canyons features a visitor center, Zion Forever store, and a five-mile scenic drive. The scenic drive climbs past the spectacular canyons and red rocks of the Kolob Canyons area and ends at the Kolob Canyons viewpoint. This steep 20-mile scenic drive climbs north from desert washes into oak, aspen, and fir-covered plateaus set high above Zion Canyon. At the end of the road is Lava Point, a scenic viewpoint at nearly 8,000 feet in elevation. Wheelchairs may need assistance at Lava Point Overlook. The surface is flat, but graveled. From here, you can look down onto Zion Canyon and over the vast plateau. The desert is an extreme environment. Carry enough water and drink it. Seek shade or head indoors during the heat of the day. Plan outdoor summer activities in the morning. Strong thunderstorms are common throughout monsoon season, which occurs from July to September. These storms can cause flash flooding in narrow canyons, but be aware that floods can occur at any time. Wildlife can cause injury and illness. Keep your distance for your safety and that of the wild animals that call Zion home. Zion sits at a high elevation, from a low of 4,000 feet to a high of 8,000 feet. At these elevations, oxygen concentrations are lower than they are at sea level. You may fatigue more easily and even experience headaches. A gem of the Colorado Plateau, Zion's sheer cliffs of Navajo sandstone stand tall above the Virgin River. There are many accessible opportunities to experience this diverse landscape. These are your public lands waiting to be explored.